And Tesla reveals for the first time in an article published in the, in the New York Times that Wardenclyffe could also be used as a weapon to take down airplanes. He managed to stop the catastrophe that would be attributed to him because being able to free and target down two billion volts from the ionosphere is sufficient to burn any city on the planet. The effect is stronger than the atomic bomb. Did Tesla discover the ultimate means of destruction? The answer is still unresolved. By 1915, it is rumored that Tesla and Thomas Edison are each to receive the Nobel Prize, but these reports prove false. Two years later, Tesla is awarded the Edison Medal by the American Institute of Electrical Engineers. But any credibility this might afford him is undone by Tesla's extravagant boasts that Wardenclyffe can be used to modify the weather. They tore the tower down during the war because uh, the military thought that was there for a, a spy purposes. It took at least three or four charges of dynamite. It was so well built, they almost couldn't demolish it. But uh, before it was uh, completely dismembered, uh, it was experimented with by someone who wanted to project scalar waves. All the birds, seagulls, and everything else left the area. There wasn't one within 20 miles. And the fishermen normally go out there and complain because there were no fish that they could catch within a radius of 10 or 15 miles while that station was operating. That's why uh, you can get a manifestation of uh, some animals acting strangely a day or hours before an earthquake. With his beloved tower in ruins, Tesla retreats into his laboratory and begins far more complex and dangerous experiments. On July 11, 1934, the New York Times reports that Nikola Tesla has developed a death ray a particle beam weapon that can destroy 10,000 planes at a distance of 250 miles. Tesla claims that a plant for producing this device could be constructed in three months at a cost of $2 million. Aside from the devastating offensive capabilities, Tesla believes that if he can successfully build 12 of these towers, his is a weapon to end all wars. Tesla's uh, famous death ray was a device which probably is very widely misunderstood and may have been one of the reasons why uh, he didn't receive some of the respect by the scientific community that he may have well deserved. I think today a lot of people think of a death ray as a, as a phaser or some esoteric type of device you might see in a science fiction movie. It's Tesla's claims terrify the public, but fascinate Hollywood. He is parodied in Superman cartoons as a mad scientist terrorizing New York with an electrothanasia death ray and an army of remote-controlled robots. Tesla's death ray was actually a particle beam weapon, a particle beam weapon which he had developed in the 30s. It was based on the principle of electrostatic acceleration of minute particles of charge, similar to work being done by the Department of Defense. The basic concept is that you take a particle, a micro projectile it's called, and through the use of high voltage, you accelerate it to, to great velocities. The velocity being very high, the particle doesn't have to be very big to do a lot of damage. If you get a stream of these things being accelerated and projected, it will do substantial damage you'd be able to knock down a missile in space, for instance. With only 12 such plants strategically placed around the United States, Tesla claims his teleforce can be used to keep the United States safe from all foes. With the world on the verge of World War II, the United States government takes an active interest in the Tesla death ray. Because he was a patriot, he offered this system to the United States government. The United States government developed and worked and engineered this particle beam weapon beginning in the 40s. 
We don't know what the extent of the research was or where it went from there, but we do have declassified documents released under the Freedom of Information Act that demonstrate the U.S. government's extreme interest in Tesla's particle beam weapon. The New York Times states that Tesla's death ray, which can send concentrated beams of particles through the air and cause...